All right, it was a good meet. Um, got second place as a team, scored 106 points, won eight individual events um, out of that meet. Had some, had a school record in the women's pole vault with Kista Ramirez. Had, um, had a couple meet records uh, with Haley Hutchinson um, coming into that. Um, it, was a, it was a good day. It was an overall best meet we've had so far this year. Kista pole vaulting really just kind of started doing that again the past couple of weeks. She looked really good. Um, had a really outstanding weekend uh, up at Luther. Haley's been looking really good. Triple jump, holds a school record in that. Uh, sitting top five in the, in the GLVC. Uh, going into the conference meet next week. Uh, Maya Brinkers looked really good um, in the weight throw and our 4 by 4s running pretty strong right now as well. I'm just hoping we can, you know, get get some times, maybe lower a couple, couple times, couple marks going in uh, the week before conference, just a final tune up as we get ready to head to the GLVC meet in Indianapolis next weekend. So hopefully, it should be a good meet for us, a uh, good chance to make that final push and feel pretty good about going into championship week. Going to Indianapolis, I'm gonna have the chance to run. They call it the ARC. It's on the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Um, brand new indoor track and field complex. It's actually located in the swine barn <laughs> of the facility, um, but they're able to switch things in and out. Looks like a banked 200 meter track, which is pretty exciting. I don't know that any of our athletes have ever run on a banked track. Um, definitely be an experience for them. Um, I think Haley Hutchinson has a really good chance to go in score some points. Same thing with Maya Brinker in the weight throw, Haley in the triple jump. Have a shot with the 4x4 four four with Jillian Dodds, Mackenzie Rader, Aaron Sabelka, and Haley uh, in that group as well. I think it's uh, going to be a good weekend. Um, definitely a little bit different than the Northern Sun. I would say one of the main differences would be that it's maybe not as deep. You know, got your top end athletes that are really, really good. I just don't know that there's as much depth in some events as there are in the Northern Sun, being, you know, three, four deep from one team like there was in the, the other league. So looking forward to a good weekend in Indianapolis next week. Hopefully we can come back with some points and some good performances to end the indoor season before we head into outdoor. We'll have our first meet within a few weeks, about a month after conference. Going to go down to Mount Mercy for an early midweek meet. Um, I think March 26th. I think is the date that their coach is looking at. So, should be um, just a few schools at that one, but just a nice early season outdoor meet. Hopefully, the weather stays the way it has. That would be ideal. Keep the snow away and we'd be better off. And then, going to roll all through the month of April. Every weekend we got something going on. Finishing up with the conference championships uh, the first week in May down at Truman State and Kirksville, Missouri. So.